r slash ask reddit bosses of reddit what is the stupidest thing you have had to fire someone for one of the security guys at my company was caught masturbating to porn during the day at the main reception desk by a female pa when we had his exit interview we asked him why he did it and he just said he felt really comfortable at work and got carried away while browsing reddit he'd been with the company for years the best part was a colleague of mine who came back from vacation a week later and asked what happened to ron someone said he was fired and immediately the guy said oh what did he get caught jerking off but he didn't even know he just got the vibe that ron would be the type to jerk it at work it in my imagination i combine all of these stories to be about the same guy and all his misadventures at different businesses forgot cheese on cheese pizza twice oh she did she wanted to return used headphones but with her smell and hygienic decisions i didn't want to resell them to another customer she started to argue so i told the guy to just return them and get her out of here and we'll throw them out he took just get her out of here as me saying to put that as her name of course it only went up the ladder he didn't get fired for buying crack on a test drive he got fired for not sharing what was shared with him to the office. What a polite crackhead. One of my technicians used our remote software to start typing to a girl whose machine he took control of. He opened notepad, wrote what up slap and then went to Pornhub. Supervisor gets an email about sexual harassment the same day and he's gone the next morning. Employee wrote a hole on the bottom of a customer's oil filter. Customer decided to change his oil one day. Something something something. Fired. Edit. At the time employees were required to sign their initials for Upper Bay and Lower Bay with the date. The Upper Bay Tech signed JJ. And the Lower Bay Tech was as. JJ was pissed at as that day and finished the Lower Bay's initials with Shoal beside it and handed it to him to install. Customer found it a month later doing his own oil change and brought the filter. Employee admitted it and was terminated from above. Still friends to this day and he is now a teacher. Guitar center. I understand the hash browns to some extent. But why would anyone want a life size Ronald McDonald in their living room? A concessions attendant gave a pot brownie to my 75 year old door person at my movie theater. She didn't press charges but he had to go. No paperwork on it either. I had him resign. Edit. This story clearly struck a chord with a lot of people. I will try to answer as many questions as possible. She, the door person, didn't know what was wrong. A friend of hers visited that evening and figured it out. She told me the next day. I was off the day it happened. He, concessions, didn't deny anything. Actually thought what he did was 100% okay. Completely disconnected from what could have happened. Actually asked for his job back a few times. Years later he apologized after going to rehab. I'm pretty sure the guy still smokes. Just a guess. I haven't spoken to either of them in ages. The theater was in Northern California. That's as close as I want to identify it. This was a long time ago and we worked it out with every party's agreement. I'm happy and I'm fairly certain that they are too. This a-hole would spend all day on this website talking to random people. And embellishing his life. He would talk about these weird jokes that no one in the office got and spend a massive amount of time looking at pictures with text on it. The pictures weren't even different. It was all to collect these fake internet points. No idea why it was so appealing. Well it's not like you'd wanna put those miles on your personal vehicle. Had a guy get removed by the cops because the night before the IT guy found out he was downloading and hosting child porn on his work computer. I once worked with a guy who did the same thing. He tried to be smarter. He would download it on other people's computers. So that it wouldn't be found on his own hard drive. He got away with it for a little while by working late. And switching machines after he was the only person left in the office. But, obviously, when the downloads happened. He was the only person left in the office. Once somebody spotted the files on their hard drive cleverly hidden in C. Windows. It took barely an hour to investigate. Pin the guy. And have him arrested and fired. I was an editor on my college's student daily newspaper. We had a photography staff that would photograph events, sports games, etc. But they'd also sometimes have to do stupid stock photo type things for feature or trend articles. Think like, 
A photo of someone filling out a college application for a story on college admissions. Or something. Anyway, we had two photogs who were apparently in a group of friends that had formed some kind of snake cult. Probably had another name that they used. But we called it the snake cult when we found out about it. The way we found out about it was that we started noticing this weird symbol in the background of some of our feature article photographs, on a post-it note in the background of a shot of some library books, or in the shape of the food in a photo of some dining hall food for an article about meal plans. Once we discovered it, we looked back and saw it had been going on for months. So yeah, we had to fire some photogs for slipping cult symbols into our student paper on a regular basis. I worked with a guy who was fired for regularly watching porn at his desk. They talked to him several times and he just never stopped. We worked at a place that bought and used cell phones. She bought a cell phone from a guy and his Facebook was still open. She posted as the guy on his Facebook something like I'm a big ducking idiot. Guy came back to complain. She was fired. I had to fire this kid from a gas station I worked at. After he asked me if I ever poked holes in the condoms with a push pin, as he proceeded to punch holes in condoms I have no idea how long he was doing it for he worked there for over a year. This actually just happened. Our supplier came out onto my construction site and cooked everyone a free barbie. This one bloke had a meltdown and almost had a fight with the chef. Their conversation started off like this. Guy. Where's the butter? Chef. Ain't got no butter mate. Guy. What kind of barbie is this without any butter? Chef. A free one. If you don't like it, don't have it. Then the guy blew up yelling at the chef for making smart ass comments and swearing his head off. While the chef thought nothing of it and remained really calm and telling the guy to take it easy. Our site does not tolerate this kind of behavior. Needless to say we kicked the guy off site ASAP. Lost a job over a free barbie and butter lol. Edit. Turns out there was butter in the fridge. Receptionist who forgot to wear pants. I was at a satellite office and had 4 employees call me separately to let me know. There were some previous issues. Plus they were pretty sure she was on something. I was managing a restaurant and did morning cash out. I checked all slips against the information in the computer. I noticed her new hire had really good tip averages the day before when I had been paying her out. The next day I was going through her slips and noticed a discrepancy. Mainly that she had added a 1 in front of each tip and changed the total. How could I tell you ask? She used different color ink. She was fired and we refunded the money. Seriously. At least use the same color ink. Worked at a nightclub. One of the workers called in sick. But he was actually going to some party instead. Could you guess where they went after the party? Yes. To our nightclub. One of my cooks asked for a smoke break. Told him to go for it. He hadn't come back after 10 minutes so I looked out the window. He was smoking a crack pipe. He came back in. Started cooking some food. Turned to me and said. DJS 9 PD. I don't feel so good. I think I need to go home. Yeah Reggie. Maybe it's because you just smoked crack by the dumpster. Get the hell out. Nah man. I can still prep. I then spent 5 minutes explaining to him why I couldn't have a crack head using a giant cheese knife. To this day. I don't think he still understands why he was fired. Edit from work. Here's a picture of Reggie with identifying marks removed. We worked at this sort of pastor Asian hybrid place that failed. And like many have pointed out. Drugs were used by the kitchen staff. My only rules were. Don't do anything on the clock and don't do it in uniform. Reggie had screwed up a few times. I hated letting him go because he actually was a good line cook. The guy found another cook job pretty quickly. I had a manager steal a bag that a customer had left on the counter. He completely denied it too. And I believed him. But the customer was sure he left it there. And asked to see the video. I hadn't seen anything odd. So I showed it to him. He pointed out the bag. Which we watched until the manager of 10 plus years took the bag and left. Idiot. Not showing up and not calling in. Everyone has a phone and can make up a shitty excuse. Call and let me know you are not going to show up so I can get someone else. Duck. There was one time I had to fire someone because I sent him out on a job that would only take 2-3 hours to complete. Before he left, he mentioned to the receptionist that he was going to make it last all day. She mentioned it to me. And sure enough, 
he returned over 8 hours later. Being dishonest with a client's money is not something I was going to tolerate. I told him to stop getting high before work. I even told him he was a good worker when not high, and that I didn't care what he did off the clock. I literally told him that people could smell weed on him, and that he acted like an idiot while high. He apologized, agreed with me, even offered up the fact that it was, in fact, affecting his work. Next day, shows up stone to the bone. Sorry, guy, you're fired. Personal hygiene. You'd think people would have the common courtesy to shower before working with others. That person smelled like pure beer with shit sprinkled on top. I had a fellow supervisor at an inbound call center I worked at years ago. We called her tripe since she smelled like rotting fish combined with BO and smoke. We tried to talk to her but it was no use. We had to minimize the furniture she had access to since her smell penetrated and stayed on anything she sat on. She also lived with two other supervisors who kept a calendar to show how frequently she actually showered or did laundry. She went 8 months without doing a load of laundry and 5 months without showering. So gross. I dry heave just thinking about that smell. I worked with a guy who got fired for buying porn on ebay all day at work. I thought this was pretty out there until I saw the other porn at work stories here. But still, I think this takes the cake because he was internet savvy and still paying for second hand porn DVDs. That's varsity level work porn stupid. One of my maintenance guys tried to stab a guy over a bag of dirt. Company dirt. Dirt. I used to manage a hotel. You would not believe the amount of female employees I had to constantly remind it was against company policy to have sex with the guests. One woman, she was about 20 years old, who I had to remind this of several times, was caught mid-act having sex with a guy that was about 65 and looked like Santa Claus. After she was fired one of her co-workers told me that this woman had a Santa Claus fetish and thought she'd never get the opportunity to act on it so it was worth possibly getting caught and fired. The girl was pretty decent looking too. Backstory. Employee Ed works a union job. Works 40 hours per week. Makes about $60,000 per year. Full benefits. Full pension. Tons of paid vacation. And is in his early to mid 30s. Ed has absolutely no education. Did not even finish high school, is socially awkward, pretty much sucks at his job, is physically weak, often injured, never enough for a doctor to find a problem, just enough to get alternate duty. Basically, the picture I'm painting is that Ed would be homeless if it wasn't for this job for life he somehow lucked into. He is completely unemployable otherwise. Mathurda King Ed takes funeral leave for a Thursday and a Friday for his mother's funeral. Some other manager who seems to remember his mom dying a few years ago does some snooping, and eventually asks for some proof. Ed turns in a faked obituary, gets found out, and fired. I still think about that guy sometimes. He turned down the best gig of his life for a stupid 4 day weekend. When he had like 20 paid days off available for use anyway. Edit. To all the people saying 20 days. That's nothing. Here in England we get 2 years paid off every year. I get it. Different countries are different. I never said this happened on the 1st of January. Maybe he only had 20 days left after using 20 more. I was actually referring to individual paid days off in addition to paid vacation was it comes in 5 day increments anyway. A PC technician was being pestered with questions from a customer about sales stuff. He lost it and while looking the customer square in the face, the employee had his eyes closed however, said, get away from me or he'll eat your face. It took half the day to get over the laughter and WTF of the situation before we could even begin on paperwork. Worked at a fairly large used bookstore in NYC. We often listed and sold rare books online, and sometimes had really unusual items that were truly one of a kind. Signed and numbered, or personally inscribed from one famous person to another, or whatever. One day, we get a phone call from one of the managers from the huge bookstore up the street, which also happens to be our biggest competitor. He explains that he has a large stack of merchandise that he is sure was stolen from our store. Apparently, earlier that day, a fellow had come to his store with some books and art prints he was hoping to sell. The manager looked a few of them up and quickly deduced that they were stolen. Two of the items in particular were really exceptionally rare and obviously identifiable as belonging to us. This would have all been bad enough, 
But the manager had one last piece of information to share. Thing is, he says, I'm pretty sure that the guy who brought them in works for you. I've seen him over there a bunch of times. He usually works Sundays and Mondays. Tall guy. Blonde hair. Wears cowboy shirts. Blah 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 and proceeds to absolutely and without a shadow of a doubt identify our sales associate Dan. Dan had apparently gone into our rare book room. Stolen the books, which were already listed for sale on the internet, walked an entire four blocks to one of the most famous bookstores in the city, and tried to sell his stolen loot to one of the booksellers he saw at least twice a week in our store. Unbelievable. If we hadn't fired him for theft, we would have had to fire him for the epic stupidity. In the interview, he was told he would have to take a drug test if he was hired. He was hired. He failed the drug test. When I brought him in and told him that he failed he said yeah, I knew I would. Then. Why? I'm sure it's not unusual but still. Why bother? He quit another job to take one that he knew he would lose immediately. Why? The other job, by the way, was janitor in a high school. Which I assume he went back to. A dumb guy at work. Call him Julio. We worked clothing retail together. One night. Closing shift. We are folding tons of clothing. Working our way from the outer tables inwards. Laughing and joking as we went. Julio is a fun guy to be around. Sometimes he'll moonwalk. Dance. Sing. General clonery to make the shift enjoyable. So that. Fateful. Night. We're almost done. About 8 of us are working on the last 2 tables of clothing. Julio does his funny dance from there to there and ends up grinding with a coworker. She dances along and he poked her. With his boner. She noticed and angrily jumps away. Dumbus was dry humping her ass. Pitching a tent. And he decided to continue dancing around with pelvic thrusts in everyone's direction. Needless to say. Julio and Julio Jr. were fired for sexual harassment. Edit number 1. The assumption that the girl he grounded against. Is the one who complained. I don't know who did. He had a history of behavior like that. He was an outgoing guy who got away with lots of stuff. Always joked and played around. I guess someone finally got sick of his shit. After he was let go. I heard of other girls and customers express. To varying degrees. A sense of satisfaction. He'd been doing that for a while I guess. Worked at KFC. Guy got fired for doing cocaine at work. In the office. Where there are cameras. In hindsight. Probably should have seen it coming. He showed up to the interview with shirt with the wheel of fortune board on it. Said GFCKYRSLF and underneath that would you like to buy a vowel? Guess that was his nicest shirt. Also. I once saw him eat ice out of a bucket that had raw standing chicken water. Kind of speaks volumes of KFC that he even got hired. Not a boss. But HR. Had a guy on a temporary work comp transitional assignment at a retail store. His regular job had very good pay. A lot of benefits. Etc. The moron stole a used scuba suit from his temporary job site. On camera. Bonus. We're well over 1000 miles from any ocean. I'm not a boss but a guy at a former job got fired because he broke a light fixture when he was ducking around with a mop. The manager on duty. Who admittedly was a little insane whipped his head around and in the most terrifying voice said, sweep that up, then get the duck out. I got a great one. My friend and I were both district managers for a vendor company that worked in home depots building displays and merchandising. One day one of the workers was on the store phone talking with one of the owners of the company. Owner hears in the background an in-store page for a manager he knows had been fired a month before. Turns out this guy had made an hour long recording of the inside sounds of a Home Depot. And would play it on his stereo anytime someone would call him. Fooled everyone for months. My buddy and me drove to his house and parked outside and called him. My friend asked him where he was. And he goes I'm at the store. We tell him. You might want to look out your window. We see his curtain part a little bit and close fast. We told him don't bother coming out. You're fired. Got to give him credit for the balls and ingenuity though. Had an employee call in sick a few busy retail Saturdays in a row. The pattern got my a bit suspicious. But I had no proof until. A co-worker. Who wasn't all too happy working up front short handed again. Came into my office cell phone in hand to show me selfie photos that the sick employee had just posted to Facebook of her sunbathing. 
this guy always tried to hide at work to avoid working. One day I was looking for him and I stepped into the bathroom. I notice a shoe print on the back of the toilet. And I look up and one of the ceiling tiles is pushed a little to the side. I climb up there. And this mother ducker is hiding in the ceiling. Wasn't the boss sorry. But a co-worker at the gas station job I had in high school got fired for just pulling scratch off lottery tickets off the roll and scratching them off right on the counter. Directly in front of the security cameras we all knew about. Parking in the fenced in lot. Chain link fence. Along the street he was smoking weed in his car and having sex with his girlfriend and the cops decided to investigate since they knew it was after hours and should be empty. He could have driven 20 feet more and been behind a building. It got out that the CEO's daughter had an abortion. One of my direct reports poorly photoshopped her photo from Facebook onto the vile anti-abortion posters. Saved the JPG files to his network share. Printed them on corporate printers using his private printing code. Then hung them up in over 20 corporate break rooms before everyone got into the office. On security camera. He even went into other tenant offices that shared the same building. I'll stop a lot of shit rolling downhill. But there's no way I'm stepping in the midst of that rolling down. Reading this thread. I really wonder how the duck it's so hard for me to find a job. Had an employee show everyone. Every other employee and every customer his really really big pocket knife. He always follows his big reveal with a smug. Largest one allowed by law. After being repeatedly told to knock it off. We worked at help desk for crying out loud. I had to can him. Guy told everyone on the break room how the boss's daughter wanted his dong and the next day came to work and overdosed. I'm the daughter and didn't want his dong. At my old job, my boss was very trusting. One of the give everyone a second chance types. Usually it worked out and he got hard working people helping him. He would trust us with things like using the company gas card to fill up the department truck. Working late on our own with nobody else in the building. Helping ourselves to snacks from the stock room. Etc. My last year there, when he knew I was planning on moving on to a new job, he hired on a new guy. Let's call him Dumbos. Who we all saw right away wasn't the brightest bulb. He would do things like try the starter on a lawnmower while someone was under it checking the blade. Still despite all this he was a hard worker and would do the labor intensive jobs that nobody else really wanted. And the boss would occasionally loan him money as an advance on his paycheck when he needed gas money. Years later I happened to run into an old co-worker and chatted him up. Asked how things were back at the company. He said Dumbus had just gotten fired. I asked why. And it turns out that Dumbus had been stealing the company gas card and filling up his pinto with it. Yes. A pinto. He'd sneak into the boss's office after bossman had left for the day. Get the gas card from his desk. And once everyone else was gone he'd run down the street and fill up his car then return the card like nothing happened. Well, he got busted when the boss saw a ton of late night charges on the card and the mileage on the truck just didn't add up to all the gas usage. Compared the shift times to when the charges were and figured out quickly who was stealing the card at night. Things only got worse when he found out that all the cash he had loaned to Dumbus for gas money was instead being used to buy crack for him and his girlfriend. I wish I could say I was surprised when I heard all this. I was not. Two different tellers. One was my ATM teller. She stole the cash from the same guy twice. Who worked across the street. Didn't take long to figure out. Second was my vault teller. Stole 3k. On her day off was a yearly. Branch wide surprise audit. She assumed she was done with audits for the quarter. The vault. Obviously. Was short. I don't know why these two thought they could get away with essentially robbing a bank. A couple of co-workers decided to start dealing cocaine at the hospital we worked at. And thought using the internal email system was a good way to keep in touch with customers. Whoa. You made it to the end? You're a ducking beast. I'll cut you a deal. Smash like and subscribe for more curated content bruh. It's free and that's a great price.